This week in Jamaica Now. A state of public emergency is now in effect for the parish of St. James. Just what does a state of public emergency mean for the people of St. James? And why did the Prime Minister take so long to call it? East Kingston cop transferred over airport road gridlock on New Year's Day. Machete mom to return to court next month for sentencing. Government partially terminates the controversial contract to a car company to buy vehicles for the police. And police release the list of Jamaica's 30 most wanted men. They want you to help to find them. I'm Damian Mitchell and this is Jamaica Now. Prime Minister Andrew Holness has declared a state of public emergency for the parish of St. James. It's the sixth such declaration in independent Jamaica, the first being in October 1966 in West Kingston because of violence. The difference this time, though, is that the state of public emergency is being declared at the peak of rampant criminality, lawlessness and disorder in St. James. The call for a state of emergency in St. James began in 2016, a year when 265 people were murdered. Last year, it got worse with 335 people being killed in St. James. That's 70 more than the tally for 2016. So why then did it take so long for the administration to respond? It requires a great deal of planning and it is not just um, a, a, an action for show. It is an action where we have to plan out both the opening and the ending game. And that kind of planning takes time. But more importantly, it takes resources to be behind it. And I believe that we are now at the point where the actions are now aligned with resources. But there's one other important alignment. The government cannot act without public support. And yes, it took some time. Some people, some persons may have felt it should have happened long ago. But I'm, I'm now of the view that this has happened when we have an alignment of all the variables to make this operation successful. And up to Monday of this week, six people were killed in St. James, down from 10 over the corresponding period last year. So with St. James now under a state of public emergency, what does it mean? The Justice Minister Delroy Chuck sought to provide explanations at the press conference called by the Prime Minister on Thursday to announce the declaration. Extraordinary powers have been given to the security forces to search, curtail operating hours of business, access to places, and for the detention of persons without warrant. Meanwhile, the police have announced that there will be some changes to the operating hours of businesses in St. James to ensure that the threat to public safety is contained during the state of public emergency. Community recreational areas will close by 6 p.m. Cook shops, dry goods and haberdasheries must close by 7 p.m. Spirit licensed premises like bars must end business at 9 p.m. Service stations by 10 p.m. and clubs and fast food outlets by midnight. The police high command says the curtailment of activities will be done while respecting human rights. However, the high command says violators will be prosecuted. And a senior cop is facing possible disciplinary action after allegedly preempting the Prime Minister's announcement of the state of public emergency. In other news, the Ministry of National Security has partially terminated the controversial contract with O'Brien's International Car Sales and Rentals for failing to fulfill the terms of the contract to supply the police with 200 vehicles. On Wednesday, the Permanent Secretary in the National Security Ministry, Diane McIntosh, told Parliament's Public Administration and Appropriations Committee that the company was asked to voluntarily withdraw from the contract, but she said it declined. She explained that the ministry has called in the $42 million performance bond, as well as the $213 million advance payment bond, which was a deposit of half of the full cost of the contract made more than nine months ago. An appeal has been launched to raise funds to help rebuild the Walker's Place of Safety, which was destroyed by fire on Monday night. Two girls aged 12 and 16 died in the blaze. 34 others were relocated to other child care facilities in the corporate area. The State Minister for Education, Floyd Green, has described the incident as a most traumatic and devastating experience. Earlier this week, the Prime Minister, Andrew Holness, visited some of the children. Jamaican sprint superstar Usain Bolt has contributed $1 million towards the rebuilding effort. A Walker's Place of Safety account has also been established at the National Commercial Bank Duke Street, account number 0610-18964. The 44-year-old St. Thomas mother charged with cruelty to a child following the machete beating of her daughter is to return to the Morant Bay Parish Court on February 9 for sentencing. 
At that time, her social inquiry report is expected to be ready. When the woman turned up at court this week, she embraced her daughter, who later arrived for the hearing. The machete mom gained notoriety after a video on social media went viral showing her beating the child in a yard in St. Thomas. <laughs> Superintendent Robert Walker, who was blamed for the gridlock that shut down access to the Norman Manley International Airport, has been removed as the head of the East Kingston Police Division and transferred to the Police Area 4. The New Year's Day gridlock occurred because of the party dubbed SANS. The Police Communication Unit says Superintendent Walker would be replaced by Superintendent Victor Hamilton. Walker has been under pressure since he was blamed in a report by the police commissioner, George Quelo for a lack of diligence and proper management in the regulation of the party. And that's it for this edition of Jamaica Now, your weekly review of the big news stories. Send us your comments at onlinefeedback at gleanerjm.com. You may tune in to Power 106 FM for regular updates. Follow us on Twitter at Jamaica Gleaner and on Facebook at Gleaner Jamaica. I'm Damian Mitchell, and before we go, the faces of Jamaica's 30 most wanted men. The police want your help to find them. <laughs>